Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episode 5 of the Honor Student at Magic High School. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Well, I'm glad that they're showing this part because, yeah, Honoga and Chizuku were not there during this time. Oh, well, damn. <clears throat> well, you know, you're being under attack right now, so shit. Grenade. So, now what? Because you know, um, Tatsu and them have to go after Miss Miyamo and such. Yeah, any one of you could have guide or maybe at least gotten hurt, but thank God you're all right. Now, that has to kind of be a reason on why, like, Honoka gets the character development that she gets in season two and such. Because the fact is, there are moments where she's more, like, hesitant in season one. Or even, like, oh, God, because it's been a while since I've, like, binged the 24 episodes of the show.
<sighs> no, it's okay. It's bound to happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. Wait, I, I mean, are you sure about this? answer some questions probably be interrogated you know probably never see the light of day again <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, it would have been better if they would have showed it, but I get it. I know your, your timing and everything, so we got to like skip past that. But I was excited to see that fight again, like damn. Mm -hmm.
Well, I mean, damn, we're like 11 minutes into the damn episode. We are just so fucking, like, going way past everything. I mean, I get it, but, like, damn. Oh, damn. Well, because once again, Tatsu and Miyuki overpowered as fuck, so. <laughs> No, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Eh, she'll be fine. You would think like all of them would just shatter into pieces, but no, I mean like what mm. I mean, how they all should be dead. That's fucking ice. Like, 
I went a little teeny tiny bit overboard. Mm-hmm. Oh, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> What's up? Baby! <laughs> So fucking precious, oh my god! Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, let's hope nothing bad happens when season three comes. I mean, because, oh, <laughs> big, oh, <laughs> but precious baby, once again, I love her so much. Like, she's just, uh, I can't, just, <laughs> when it comes to her and her brother, and how they have a daily life, and you know, when someone comes in and fuck it over, hold on, excuse me, um, and they want to go back to, you know, a regular, ordinary life where people, they don't have to always watch their backs and stuff. She's going to do everything in her power to get it back. Same thing with Tatsuya, because the biggest thing is Tatsuya's biggest mission is to make sure that Miyuki has a very happy and longful life. You know, whatever else is going to happen, especially when, like, season three does come, because I felt like when, when looking at, like, season one to season two, and then also looking at this... And especially wondering what the hell is going to happen in season three. And this is why I kind of wish still if this show does get another season, um, we do get to see her side of the story about, you know, Lena and everything. And then maybe showing that fight. It would have been nice for them to show the Erica and Saya fight. But I get it. I, I know you're stretched for time. You can't really show everything. It's just Miyuki's POV over of everything. So I get the fact that, you know, you can't really show this awesome fighter, that awesome fight. You just have to, like, breeze right through it. And that's really what this episode felt like. I mean, whoa, God. Yeah, that's that blonde girl, ain't it? Isn't she pretty? Now, see, the question was, did they even show these characters in season one? Because I don't even remember. <laughs> Woo! See, that just makes me want to rewatch, like, just this arc we're about to start. Because, I mean, they go to the same school as Dude. until Miyuki pops up. Okay. So, I mean, because, yeah, I don't really remember these three. <laughs> sure enough, because, like, yeah, it's not us. I think after I watch Magic Over Kore, um, while I'm probably editing and everything, I'll probably go ahead and check out the arc again. But even if they were featured in the nine um, schools competition and such, they probably weren't even shown as much because the fact is that whole entire arc, it, well, the whole entire series is on Tatsuya's POV and such. So, I mean, Maybe they were just background characters and possibly had a moment where they talked for a little bit. So maybe these three will possibly also fall in love with Tatia because, I mean, almost every freaking girl, yeah. I, I mean, I get it because me too. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they seem interesting, but I feel like the blonde is going to be what dude was for Tatsuya for Miyuki because they're going to possibly have like a frenemy type relationship and such and they're really going to like competing against one another I don't know that could be the same thing for Shizuku and Honoka when we do see these two are really not even um no not Shizuku and Honoka um Honoka and Emmy but we ain't gonna know until next week. But I mean, for real, it was a really good episode still to see, like, you know, Miyuki's side. And so it makes you wonder how in the world this competition is going to go, even though we already know. But it's like, what else is going to happen in this? Because, of course, we're going to see... Oh, my God. Because, once again, it's been, like, a whole year and I binged the hell out of it. The situation of Miyuki using, um, I think, her CAD... And the fact that um, everybody was hella impressed slash jealous of what she could do. So we're probably going to see that situation again. Um, the Honoka and... Um, not the Honoka. The Shizuku and the Miyuki fight. 
our match that they had and situations like that. So, yeah, I'm actually really, truly excited to see y'all out again. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 5 of The Honor Student at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for episode 6. Bye, guys.